hi welcome to my channel in today's session we will see how to calculate total in asp.net with c sharp and jquery this is my first example in asp.net what we are going to do is we will create one grid view and in that we will bind some items so this item price i am fixing by default whenever this quantity is entered by the user so it should display the total amount of each product and also i want to total of the grand total that means total build amount also i want to show it so we'll see how to do this first we'll see the implementation steps for this first what we have to do is to implement this we have to create one project we need one web project here web form and we will design the screen finally we will create one jquery function to calculate the data we'll see how to do this first we'll see the demo so this is i have prepared one project for this so this is one of my product masters so i have different items and for each item this is the price what i will do is whenever user enters suppose i want 10 products so automatically total amount will be calculated here also grand total also calculated here and I need 5 here so whenever user enters whenever there is a change in the value so automatically total will be calculated and as well as total grand total also it's calculated suppose I'm changing here it's changed so now we will implement this so we will do it in a project okay first what we have to do is we have to create one project I am using Visual Studio 2013 for this example. Click on File, New, click on Project. I am creating one project for this. I am creating web project. So I am selecting .NET Framework 4.5 for this. Click on ASP.NET Web Application. Give a meaningful name. I am giving this is my project name and I am saying saving in my hard drive click on ok so I need only empty project click on ok so now our project has been created what we have to do is first step is we have to create one web form here right click on the project click on add new item I need one web form here I'm taking as product products click on add so our page is created I'm giving one title for this product page what we have to do is first we have to create one grid view click on toolbox I need one grid view for so that we have to expand data here we will get the grid view just drag and drop here so I am keeping inside the div ok I want this I want to format this grid view click on auto format I'm changing my design here click on apply ok now I want this entire data should be displayed in center I am making as alignment center so that it will be displayed in center so now I will add columns for this first I need one bone field I want to bind the data data field will be I want first item I'll give it as item name header text I have to provide here I'll give it as product name Okay. 
then I need one more field, one field called I need price also what price I forget this price I want to align item style horizontally I want to align because this is the amount we want to align right I need one class for this item style this I will give it as item price this I will use it in calculation part then I need one template field the text I give it as quantity I want here I need item template to enter quantity I need one text box here next the quantity I am passing then I want to display this I want to align text right because this is also quantity number then I will assign width for this 50 pixel of this text box width okay then we will copy the same template we need one more column called total amount so I will change it if you are a beginner just try to type manually then only you will get some experience if you are a experienced then you can use the copy paste process then we want total amount this here item name will be displayed price also will be fixed one whenever quantity entered I want in total amount okay now I will display here for this I want to label itself By default, I will show it as zero because by default there will not be any data. And that's it. We are getting grid view as we expected. Here, what we have to do is it is showing all the columns. I don't want to show auto-generated columns. Auto-generated columns make it as false so that it will not display the columns. And it will display whatever can be displayed here, filtered manually. This and showing right alignment, total amount, until right quantity. Also, I want to display by default text as I want it as zero. Here, I put it as item horizontal right now. Check the design. Yes, what we expected. We are coming. Now what I want is finally I want grand total here. What I'll do is I'll put one break here, put two break points, I'll put as two I'll put two breaks here, then I'll put one label called label. Text will be then I want to assign some style for this. This text with font with I'll set it. I'll set it as bold. Okay. Then I want one more table here. Make it as a not server. Now there is a control error. Now I want to show total build amount here. So 
text to new by default zero and the font will be bold I want background color here make it as yellow here okay check the design now yes so here and keep some space here brown total yes design part we have completed now what we have to do is we need jquery here to calculate the black next step is we have to create one jquery function to calculate the data for that i have already one jquery function so it takes more time that's why i'm copy pasting and i will explain line by line so this one is google api where i have taken from google apis so this is the jquery javascript file to execute the script we need this api so you can take it from my description or you can try to download from google apis okay so here we are starting our javascript function so here by default i am assigning text quantity as zero and whenever there is a change in the text quantity txt quantity whenever there is a change in the quantity that time what i am doing is i am checking whether i am assigning value to this text box value to quantity suppose if it is null if it is null means we will get is null so okay that time i am assigning by default zero okay here we got the quantity now now here we want to check the row wise total okay so this is the row wise total each row we have to set the total so that time here we are calculating total okay so lbl total amount we have to assign the item price into what is the quantity each row we have the item price item price into total quantity we are calculating and we are displaying on we are assigning to lbl amount this is the lbl amount okay so we are assigning to this amount so now what we have to do is we have to calculate the grand total total build amount we have to calculate for that i am using each function for each function so whatever the each row i am reading and i am adding with the total build amount finally i am displaying in lbl total build amount that is the grand total so here we are showing it now what we have to do is we have to bind the items these items and price and then we have to check the functionality so go to code behind right click view code so what we have to do is we have to add the items i'm adding dynamically here whenever if it is not is post back what post backs not post back will do is whenever page loads at the time of first initial Actually, I want to bind some items here. I want data table. So what we have to do is we have to import one system dot data dot system dot data namespace here. Then only I'll get the data table. I want data table called products. So I'm creating one new data table here. Okay. Now I want to add products here I want to add columns first add range new data column so how many columns we want just check it here we want two columns we are going to bind these two columns only and so I want product column names also so that I need item name here so i need you have to pass how many columns you want here new data column i want it as item name one then i need one more 
data column here called so it is the column value we are binding is item price so we have created two columns to data table now what we have to do is we have to add the products we have to add the values to each column okay start add what I'm adding is I have to add the products I'm adding some different products so I want to add now value what is the value for this one is I'm adding like this just copy and paste it I want choco pie this will be I'm setting as 10 rupees here then I need one more product item called so I'm setting as to 35 rupees okay what we have to do is now we got the data table now I want to bind the data to grid view what did we name is to grid view one dot data source we have to provide the data source first what data table will be data source then I want to bind the data okay here what we are doing is we are creating one data table called DT products and for that I am adding two columns item name and item price here I am assigning the values this is the item name item name this is the item price dynamically I am creating one data table and attaching to grid view okay that's it now set product as start page and execute so now as we expected our data is binding here so we added two columns here and the quantity user has to enter and whatever quantity enters it will multiply with the product price and it will be displayed in total amount also it will read each row then it will display in grand total okay we will try this so 10 I added 10 into 25 is 250 grand total also added here I'm adding 100 here I'm adding 20 so it is displaying how we expected okay so I'm removing again now so I'm removing everything so through this J query your query will be executed first and the response will be very good okay so for better response always we will use J query so it will give better response so again we will check one more example like uh, I'm adding total is added 510 250 300 and 510 okay it's displayed as we expected so what we did is so this is our example so what we are doing is so we are binding the data to grid view whenever there is a quantity value change we are calculating the item price and the total amount displayed here and each row we are reading and finally we are displaying grand total so this is the implementation steps once again I am repeating you implementation steps first what you have to do is create project on web application project and you start the screen design and finally you put the jQuery function to calculate the data so I am giving you the source code in my description you can download and you can check the day, how it works okay so that's it for today thanks for watching